all right so welcome back to another video prep down there looking up at the window i'm looking up at the windows look he puts his hand behind his head <laughs> i'll tell you so why is he why is he over there because you know i gotta go to the bank that's why remote no monitoring staring you know uh you know keeping tabs on how much money i have in my wallet when i go to the bank when i go to the store what i spend what i don't spend constantly constantly uh uh surveilling you in every single way right <laughs> ti in every single way okay so yeah <laughs> anyhow yeah we know you don't live there buddy uh, pretending to act like you live there you know your ass don't live there all right <laughs> so yeah trying to be slick anyhow so um you know i had to have a, a real discussion with my son and basically he's gonna be without his computer until uh october 1st just to let him understand that this cannot happen again he cannot be up late you know and again talking to his mother about allowing him to stay up late well it's not my fault i'm sleeping i'm like i don't want to hear that shit you're a parent okay time and time again i keep telling her before she goes to bed particularly on a school night turn off the kids devices go tell ethan time to get off your computer shut it down unplug it if you have to okay when i'm there they know that their computer goes up at a certain time but this is what happens when you have women who don't want to discipline their children you know she's 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 upset because i now took away ethan's computer and she's upset because again uh she wants the she wants the she wants to use the computer to keep them away from her right so if they if they're on the computer or oh, you turn off his his siren his lights police vehicle you turn on the lights yeah i already got you on video buddy anyway um yeah because then because then she don't have to be a parent right so if they what are you doing what are you doing are oh, you gonna make the u-turn look at this shit <laughs> yeah it's so confused <laughs> So if, if the kids are always on the computer when she's there, they're not gonna bother her, right? And this is, this is exactly why she's upset with me taking his computer away from him. Not the fact that he's not going to bed on time while she's sleeping, he's up all, day, all night, right? <laughs> and he has exams this week. So now that he slept the whole day, he's not going to bed tonight on time. You know, it's, again, shit like this is what really, really kills me. A lot of uh, NYPD activities tonight. Today, actually, going to the bank. Again. So, the ability of them to use technology to, to surveil you within your home, to map out every piece of item in your home, and then try to use it in some form or way shape or fashion to make it seem as if it's a supernatural thing going on when it's not oh, okay. right <laughs> when it's not see we know that since 2003 they've been able to use the wi-fi signal to basically map out your position within your home your your image where you are know, no, why... <sighs> okay so like i said i went to the bank you see all the police activities i came out the bank there's another police vehicle turn on its lights uh <laughs> again so as i was saying the thing that sticks on my daughter i went pick, when, I, when i pick up my daughter today um you know she says to me she's like daddy guess what i said what she goes um a white butterfly landed on my uh hands on her wrist i said really i said that means that's good luck so i um as i got to i was talking to ethan and i unplugged his um his gpu his graphics card out of his computer so that he would not be able to have 
to to go online or what have you because again this week he has to study because he has a, a regents exam that he has to take and i made him study saturday i wasn't there yesterday i called him i said before you turn on your computer you need to study all right and so he's been like i said he's been up all night sleeping the entire day which i had to leave to come and get hit, uh Alyssa, <laughs> right from school so she's telling me this i get upstairs and i'm unplugging stuff and i'm looking for a um something to put the you know the screw in the screws in right so his mother had these uh you know she loves to leave all this shit around you know she you know yeah she she loves to leave all these these this shit around from earrings that she buys you know she take it out of the plastic bag and just leave it over the place right so i'm looking for a small plastic bag so i can put the screws in so i can put them in the drawer so i i don't forget them so i picked up uh, um one of the plastic bag and it gets for one of her earrings and it's some butterfly earring so i was like oh okay that's why she, that's that's why she they put that in her head to tell me about some butterfly landing on her uh on her on her wrist but again, we know that, uh, and I know through the remote neural monitoring, that they already mapped out everything in her apartment, everything in, in the apartment that I'm in, in my bedroom. This is why when I stare at certain things, they will use the siren, particularly if it's, a, if it's green in color. It's technology, right? But for people who don't understand that these technology exists, uh, you know, they'll, you know, this is why, this is why they can use these things to try to manipulate you, right? To try to set you up and try to manipulate you and to try to recruit you into their into their cult right and, you know uh, the video i did i didn't quite get into a lot of it because I, I paused the video and i forgot but there was a, a article from uh, columbia university it talks about how the fbi how the fbi creates situation to entrap people and then try to use them as informants right this is this is our federal law enforcement agency this is what they do Okay, so when I talk about dark triads and their personality type, that's exactly what I'm talking about. And when they do these things is to try to, particularly when they try to use it, use to try to suppress you and use it as some type of investigative tool. It's not an investigative tool. They want to, well, they want to recruit you. And they think that you're ignorant, that you don't understand and you don't know that these technologies exist. And that's what it is. That's what it is. It's, it's nothing supernatural. There's nothing mystical about it. It's the ability that they ha have advanced technology that most people don't know and don't understand. All right? So, like I said, from the early 2000s, they were able to use your Wi-Fi signal to map out everybody in your house, in your apartment, you know, um, give a, an entire layout of what your, what your apartment looks like. And with the microchip, we won't know monitoring, they basically can know everything within your apartment. So there's nothing, uh, again, that they can use to try to manipulate my mind into thinking there's some type of mystical, uh, supernatural stuff that's going on. It's, it's not. This is why it doesn't have the effect on me that they, th that they wish that it would. It doesn't. But all it does is that it, it, they can manipulate others into believe in these things right but once you understand the technology once you understand that these things exist you know it it takes the element of surprise of that mystical of that mysticism out of it again reality is what you need to look at reality is what you need to understand and believe in all right uh, i'll talk to you guys in the next video